Joining us right now is Michael Novogratz, Galaxy Digital's CEO. Um, Michael, want to talk to you about that. Want to talk to you about the overall macro economy. And frankly, I want to start with this Coinbase news. Um, what do you make of it? And what do you make of the, the valuations, not of the coins themselves anymore, but of the infrastructure around it? Because for a long time, people said, well, you could buy crypto or you could buy the folks who are going to operate around crypto. And, you know, it doesn't matter what happens to the, to the, to the value of the stuff as long as you're actually in, uh, you know, the, the, the shovels and everything else, that's where the real value is. What do you well, think listen, now? You know, 2022 was a, was a grand washout, you know, for growth stocks and for crypto. Uh, and so anything associated with it, especially that was growthy, that was, you know, had big, big cost and revenue shrinking, uh, got hammered, as, as, as many of, of the crypto stocks did. Um, I think CEOs, Brian uh, at Coinbase and any rational CEO is doing the right thing. The outlook for crypto is not horrible, but it's not great. Uh, we've got regulatory you know, headwinds that we didn't have before. We've got time to heal and, and rebuild narrative. And so people are going to cut costs and survive this transition period. Uh, crypto is not going away. What's been interesting is the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum has held pretty steady the last few months. And it's actually gone up in the last few days. Uh, if you had to sell, there was a lot of bad news out there. You sold. If you were leveraged, you got out of your leverage. And so it's a pretty clean market right now. There's still some overhangs, right? DCG and, and Genesis and Gemini, uh, that will play out in the next quarter. Uh, that's not going to be great. Uh, I don't think it will include a lot of selling. It's just not good news. And so I think what we're trying to do at Galaxy, listen, we've we've bought a mine, a big mining facility in Texas. We bought a, a, a GK8, a security company, you know, a self-custody company in Israel. Uh, we're leaning in where we think it's appropriate, uh, but we're also sober understanding that 23 is a year you want to survive and kind of catch right. the catch Can the. Can you go back to uh, just because we haven't talked to you about this whole Gemini Genesis thing, and I know that for a lot of people who, who are not familiar with what's going on, they sound like they're the same thing. One is a an exchange that are owned, that's owned by the Winklevoss twins. Uh, the other uh, is effectively a, a, a loan outfit. I don't know what you described it, or, or, uh, uh, that, that, that's owned by Barry Silbert. And uh, all of this has sort of come into uh, question because uh, the gates have gone up. What do you think happens eventually with all of this? And why do you think this won't create more forced selling uh, if, in fact, the gates go down? Well, listen, I think Genesis in lots of ways, was our biggest competitor. They were far larger than, than Galaxy in lots of ways, in both lending and in trading. And, you know, it appears they got themselves over their skis and uh, had credit losses that they couldn't handle. Uh, they've got some loans from the parent company, and there's a lot of tension there.